Hello and uh, welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, I will be going over the assignment operator and basic arithmetic uh, in our C++ programming tutorial series. This will be a tutorial number five. And I do recommend that you go and watch the previous tutorials so you can understand this one better. So uh, let's get to business. The assignment operator and basic arithmetic. Okay, so the assignment operator is a pretty simple operator. Let's uh, declare three variables, integer A, um, B, and C. Okay, so what does the assignment operator does is it assigns a value to a variable. So if I go like A is assigned 5. So what happened here was 5 was assigned to A. And if you have declared a variable of type integer, make sure the value that you're assigning to that variable is also an integer value. So this would be a bath thing to do. Okay? So you cannot assign, this is a floating point variable, you cannot assign a fractional number like this to A, because A is an integer. Okay? <clears throat> so that's basically what the assignment variable does. It assigns a value to the variable. So let's say B is assigned 10 and let's say C is assigned 30. So we assign the value 10 to B and the value 30 to C. Just remember this is not equals 2. This is an assignment operator. This doesn't mean 5 is equal to A. It just means 5 was assigned to A because if I go here and do 25 even though here A is 5 when the line the coding line comes down here A becomes 25 okay so that is pretty basic that is the assignment operator okay so the next part is the uh, basic arithmetic operators so the five arithmetical operations supported by C++ are addition subtraction multiplication, division, and modulus division. So what do they look like? So let's start by listing them right here. So this would be the addition. This is the subtraction operator. This is the multiplication operator, the star symbol. This is the division operator. And this is the mo mo modulo operator. Okay, so let's do an example with each. Let's start by typing C out um, the addition of A plus B equals 2, and then do the, the column and space, and let's print the addition of A plus B, okay? If you don't know yet, you can actually add two variables together and print them onto the screen using the C out statement, uh, the, the command. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at what this program does right here. Save the file. And in fact, let's just put a little new line character to keep it clean. Let's put two, okay, just to keep it clean. Okay, so if you look here, A is 5, B is 10, so obviously that's going to be 15. So when I build and run this program, obviously you're going to see 15. The addition of A plus B equals to 15. So now let's do subtraction. Okay. The subtraction of A minus B equals 2, save the project, obviously it's uh, going to be negative 5, see if we get that, okay, negative 5, okay, we can do the same for multiplication, let's do it this way, let's take this off, A, that's better. Let's take it to the next level. Let's do it this way. 
go. Save file, build and run. A times B is equal to 50. 5 times 10 is indeed 50. Okay, let's do um, let's do B divided by A. Okay, so let's do it this way. This is in fact the symbol we're going to use. Okay, save file. Build and run. Okay, there you go. So 10 divided by 5 is indeed 2. And finally, the modulo um, operator. Okay, so. And the answer in this case is going to be 0. And run, and the answer is in fact zero. Okay, you can do other advanced things with the um, with the arithmetic operators. For example, you can do stuff like this. Okay, you can be you can say a times b plus c minus b and you can actually make this happen on the on the um screen exactly as you see it so let's do clean this up okay so let's come right here so you will you will use parentheses so a times b plus c minus b Okay, and I just want to let you know you can actually have it like this and it will work just fine. I'm just trying to keep this clear, but if you want to organize it like like this, you're fine. But remember, the, the user that is using your program does not see any of this. This is all behind the scenes. Okay, this is for you. And um, this is what they'll see, so that's what needs to be clean. So let's put an equal sign right here. Okay, so just like in real life, everything that is in parentheses happens first. And then they get add up. So A times B is 50, so this is 50. And C minus B is 20, this is 20. So it's 50 times, 50 plus 20 is going to be 70. So that's, uh, that's already saved. Build and run. Okay, so there you go. A times B plus C minus B is equal to 70. So you can do all this using arithmetic operators and assignment operator. Now one more thing I'm going to show you is let's take this away. Uh, let's delete this whole thing right here. And come up with a variable that says answer. In fact, let's put answer right here, integer answer. So that's a variable we declared, and the type is integer. Answer is equal to uh, a times c. You can come down here. Let's take this off too. And say count, I mean c out, answer. So what happened here was a was multiplied by c. And the answer was assigned to the variable answer. And when you run, run this program, which is a 5 times 30, you will get 150. There's a problem. See, I didn't put the semicolon, so I got an error right here. So I put the semicolon. After every statement or expression, you have to put the semicolon. Don't remember, don't forget that. So, say file, build, and run. Okay? So, A times C was assigned to answer, and then we printed answer on the screen, which is 150. So, that brings us to the end of this module the assignment operator and the basic arithmetic. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel for upcoming C++ tutorials. As you know, this is a series and I have a whole playlist 
and I add to it every other day. Um, click the like button if you like the video and thank you again for watching. Have a good day.